Hi, I'm April from Skycom Solutions, and today we're going to explore a new software tool for Microsoft called Microsoft Loop. It's designed to enhance collaboration and streamline your work processes. So what exactly is Microsoft Loop? In a nutshell, it's a powerful platform that brings together your documents, tasks, and discussions within 365 all in one place. Think of it as your team's virtual workspace, enabling seamless collaboration and boosting productivity. Loop is currently usable in preview mode. This can be enabled at an organization level. Your admin will need to log in to activate this and create your group policy. Once complete, just head over to loop.microsoft.com and hit get started to log in. As this is in preview mode, we are basically working with a beta. If you're familiar with this, then you know that you do not have full functionality at this time. You will notice that there are only a handful of templates. I do expect this to grow over time. You will also notice that you cannot enable Copilot at this time. Copilot is a 365 built-in AI that can source information from across your platform. This is only available to a select test group at this time. Even while in preview mode, Loop is a great tool to add to your organization. Let's look at some of the features now. All right, once we're in the space, you will notice that all of the workbooks that you have been given permission to view or you have created will be viewable on this page here. We're going to be working out of our test page to kind of show you some of the features here. When you first look at the page, you will have the option to change the cover. When you make a new page, there will be nothing here. You should just click on here, update it to something a little bit more appealing. I like these little bubbles. And you can also change the icon here. This will also be the icon that shows to the left of the name of the page off to the left hand side of the screen. Once you're in here, you have the option to start from a list of templates or you can create a page from scratch. So let's look at a blank page here. If we want to create a task table to insert any content, we start with forward slash. It gives us a list. We can start typing what we'd like to see. Task pops up. After we add the task list, you will have the opportunity to type in the description of what you need completed. We can assign it to somebody. Here I will assign this to Courtney, so the at symbol. And Courtney, our videographer and marketing specialist here will complete this. And let's say we need this done by the end of the week. Courtney will now receive an alert to her Outlook stating that she has been assigned a task to this workbook and she will be able to view it through Outlook or through the Loop workbook. You can add items by just selecting the plus here and we can do as many as we need to. Let's go down to team decisions. I have pulled a template. You can pull this from the bottom of the page. I'll show that in a moment here, but right now we're going to look at the team decision. So this shows up a template of you can kind of fill in this information or delete it if it's not needed. Here in compare ideas, I've put whether we should post a video, post a blog or post nothing at all. And I've invited Courtney to collaborate to vote on this for me. So she can jump in here. I can see her pop up and she can vote on whether she wants to post a video, post a blog or not post at all. She can also type her views here, which we've seen her type, but, and now we can also see that she's, she's engaged here as well. As many people as you have on your team can collaborate at one time. Everything will update live for everyone. There's no delay in between putting information in and then waiting to see it or accidentally saving over somebody else's work. That's something that doesn't exist in this space. And that's one of the major functions that you're going to see the difference between using OneNote and the loop. Let's uh, add a new page here. We can kind of see the template. So new page, it gives you some ideas down here. This is the template gallery so we can view everything they have. One thing I do want to point out here, you're going to notice there are some items that do not populate yet. So the issue tracker 
comes up. This one was not showing up last week, so I'm pretty excited that this is here. Um, we can type in the issue. Here it's category. You'll notice that these little uh, icons change up here. We have lines here, we have a tag, a person, and a calendar here. This dictates what's allowed to be put in these categories. With these lines, it means that it's a text issue. I can type whatever I want to type. In here, we will notice that there's a tag, which means we can only fill in these columns with what has been dictated. So drop down menu is option three, option two, or accessibility. Those are very strange options. So they're obviously still working on this template here. If we want to change what this is, just hit the little pencil to the side. And we can say that this is a service issue and let's change the color to green. Let's change option two to marketing. Let's make that pink. All right, so now we can change this. Let's call this a service issue. Status, not started, in progress, off track or completed. In here, we can also change them as required as well. Priority, again, there's another selection, high, low, medium. Now I can assign a task member. Let's assign myself here to handle that issue. And expected to be handled by end of tomorrow. Same deal as the task list. I will now receive an email saying that I have been assigned something to complete with the information. I can click in the email to get to the loop page or I can go directly to my workplace to view this. If you want to create your own category items, we can just go into change column type, label, and add label group. We can insert the name of the label group that we want to create and what those items are. If we need more than two, we can hit add option. We can type as many as you would like. Now that we've got our issues list put together, we might want to type in some relevant links from our data for everyone to view. So in this, let's grab something from our party planning committee. Let's grab our PPC involvement form. Just type that. And now anybody can grab this and view it from wherever they choose to view this. They can either look at it in link loop or look at it in Word as this is what it's been involved in. Now that we have this workbook put together, we have our relevant links in here. We have our issues list. There might be some members we would like to view this issues list but we do not want them to see the entire workbook or we do not want them to see the entire page. We can pick components to share as a loop component in items like Outlook or Teams and other people can collaborate but only view this section. To do this, we hover over the dots, create loop component, and now this is an item that we can pull into Teams. It can copy the component or we can and paste it into Outlook or to Teams or we can share who sees it. I just want to take a moment to look at some more of these templates. Let's go to a new page, template gallery. If you are building your own page from scratch but you're looking for some assistance on what you can enable, a great place is to look a great place to look is inside of each of these. In here we'll get a quick preview and it gives us an idea of items that we can add. So compare ideas, you could do forward slash compare and this template here would pop up. We have a whole bunch of templates to pull ideas from. This is a great place to start and start playing around, seeing how this will work for your team. Once you create your first workbook, you'll be able to see how far of a reach this program has and how much collaboration you can add into this. It is a fantastic program that pulls everything in O365 together in one place. Once Copilot is available for everyone to use, that's going to exponentially increase your ability to research your own data and allow everyone to collaborate in one place. This is definitely 
an application that fills a gap in today's use cases with the amount of remote workers and collaboration from satellite offices or even other organizations. Now you might be wondering, doesn't this functionality already exist in the app OneNote? Well, both tools do have existing unique strengths. Microsoft Loop does offer some compelling features that make it a worthy contender. Microsoft OneNote has been a reliable note-taking app for years. It's great for capturing ideas, organizing information, and sharing notebooks. However, when it comes to collaborating and project management, Microsoft Loop steps up to the plate. Microsoft's real power lies in its ability to centralize your team's work, work elements, documents, tasks, and discussions in one place. It streamlines communication and allows team members to collaborate on the same document simultaneously. Unlike OneNote, Microsoft Loop's template make it easy to create consistent structures for various projects, ensuring your team follows the same framework. Plus, Loop's built-in task assignment feature keeps everyone accountable, making it the go-to tool for project managers. Of course, if you mainly use OneNote for personal one-taking or simple organization, it might still be your preferred choice. But if your goal is to en enhance teamwork, boost productivity, and centralize your collaborate efforts, Microsoft Loop is the way to go. And there you have it. Your custom template is ready to be used for your future projects. With Loop, you can easily duplicate and modify templates to fit your team's specific needs. Before we wrap it up, I'd like to emphasize the incredible benefits of using Microsoft Loop. Its streamless collaboration saves time and ensures everyone is on the same page. Say goodbye to cluttered inboxes and scattered files. Embrace the future of efficient teamwork. And remember, as this is a beta, please give Microsoft your feedback. Now is your time to be heard. If you have any questions about the application, leave a comment below and we'll get back to you.